Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum here after the daily candle close. Let's actually take a quick look at what kind of candle did we actually get. So slightly in the green here yesterday, but certainly not a bullish candle, more a candle of indecision. Market continues to move sideways in a corrective fashion. And therefore I've relabeled this now um, here as an ABC. You know, it could obviously have the wave two in already, but it just isn't moving up very strongly and therefore I have labeled it as an ABC. Bear in mind, even in the wave three, it could be choppy price action because um, it could very well be that this is moving up as a so-called ending diagonal that happens often in a wave five. That's when you get choppy price action. In that case, we would have the wave four end here. That's possible as well. Then we had an ABC up in a wave one here possibly already the ABC in a wave two, or this was just the A wave. We now do the B wave and then come down and see and would then move up in a third wave. But if the ABC wave two was already in here, this could without a problem be an A wave choppy in three waves. Now a B wave, A, B, C, and then a C wave to the upside. So see, that's why um, diagonals are difficult. And what is more important than understanding here the lower level wave count, which is um, leaves a lot of options open because this move up is not impulsive yet. It is corrective. So it, you know, this could even become some kind of a triangle. Yeah, why not? You know, um, so be aware this is not so important to understand the lower degree price action. Really, the micro counting is often pointless. And especially if you need to use too much brain power to try to figure out here the, the lower degree count, um, it's often it often doesn't give you an edge anyway. So um, what is much more important is to understand the relevant Fibonacci levels. And if you understand how to use FIBs, you know that this is the key support area here, ranging between 1575 and 1630. And against that support box, we can focus on higher, which means it could still come down lower in the short term as long as it finds support in the green box. This can be a valid one two setup, which should result in a higher wave to the upside in a third wave. And um, yeah, at the moment, I would still prefer a wave five to the upside, an extension, which would include that this was already the wave one of the wave five. Then we are now doing the wave two again that could come down a bit lower or was already in and then higher. But um, this entire move of the December low is probably getting close to an end temporarily. And I'm waiting here for a pullback of some sort. Um, but before that happens, and as long as the green support area holds, I'm still counting this five wave move um, as extension of the five, the wave five. And should we lose that green support box, I will have to count wave five as finished already. That's possible as well because we made a higher high. And then I would look at coming down in a fourth wave. If we hold support here, we can get a high probability wave five. And that's really where we are. I don't want to make the video too long um, because not too much has happened. And I did explain everything in a little bit more detail in my previous videos today. So feel free to check that out if you're interested. And other than that, I'll see you tomorrow. And I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.